We organized here this week a major conference on the financial crisis that we're facing, the irresponsible lending by banks to people for mortgages or sometimes for business purposes is sending shudders throughout the world, not just in America. And Liberals and Democrats here brought together the European Commissioner, Mr. McCreevy, and lots of central bankers, lots of people from ratings agencies who know about these matters to try to find a way forward. And I'm very pleased to say that uh, that very morning the Commission announced proposals to make sure that financial markets are going to be more transparent, that we can see what's going on in movements of finance, whether it's investments by sovereign wealth funds or anything else. I hope we will find a way forward to make sure that we can have a stable banking system because the speed at which money moves through the world's banks at the moment is such that we need properly to get control of it and to have the right systems in place. And I hope that in a small way, Liberal Democrats were able to advance that discussion. The other interesting thing that happened is the European Commission flexed its muscles again in imposing a mighty fine on Microsoft for anti-competitive practices. We're all in favour of the development of computer software. What we don't want is for one large company like Microsoft to abuse its market position and push up prices for those of us who buy computer parts and computer software. And I believe that what the Commission has done has sent a very important signal to Microsoft and to America that if you're going to be in the market, you've got to play by the market rules. So I think Europe has come quite a step forward this week. Action by the Commission against a company abusing the market and action again by the European Union to make sure we have more stable banking systems. If you'd like to know any more about any of this, drop me a line, drop me an email, get in touch, and I'll certainly be pleased to let you know what Liberal Democrats have been doing this week in the European Parliament on your behalf. Music